In this video, we're going to talk about how to use Quarto to make a home page that looks very professional and clean. While Quarto is naturally great for building technical documents, on the surface, it's not so great for building a snazzy looking website. In order to do that, we're going to use something called an about template. An about template can be used to create a page that has a specific default structure. By default, these templates are designed to look fantastic out of the box, while at the same time helping website visitors to learn more about you. You've already learned that each page in a Quarto website is rendered from QMD files that you place in the project directory. If you specify an about template for a QMD file, that's going to change the page's structure. And an about template is going to be specified in the YAML header of the QMD file that you want to customize. Currently, Quarto has five built-in templates that you can look at in more detail on the Quarto.org website. The current templates are Hoya, Trestles, Solana, Marquee, and Broadside. You can get a preview of these templates by going to the templates section of the website documentation on the Quarto.org website. Going to that section of the Quarto website and scrolling down a bit, we see our website preview. Here we see a preview of the Hoya theme. Here is a preview of the Trestles theme, the Solana theme, the Marquee theme, and the Broadside theme. All of them are clean and attractive looking templates that you can use to make an incredible landing page for your professional website. Each about template is going to allow you to specify three different elements. The first is the image element, which is an image that you want to display on the page. This could be a picture of yourself or something else you want to display on the page. In addition to selecting an image to display, you can also change the image width of your image, which needs to be a valid CSS width. And for some of the templates, you can also select the image shape, which is going to be the shape of the image. And the shapes are rectangle, rounded, or round. However, those shape options are only available in the Hoya, Solana, and Trestles templates. The second element that you can specify is the links element. These are going to represent links that you want to provide for the user to click on. These could be links to your GitHub page, your email address, a Twitch account, etc. For each of the links that you specify, you have several different options. The first is href, which is a link to a file contained within your project, or more likely, an external URL. So for example, you can easily link to your GitHub account on your professional website. The next option you can specify is the text associated with the link. This is going to be the text that is displayed for the link, which if not provided, by default is the title of the document. The next link option that you can specify is the icon option. By default, the about template allows you to name standard Bootstrap 5 icons like envelope, GitHub, Twitter, YouTube, etc. so that an icon will be displayed with the link that you provide on your web page. A current list of icons is available at icons.getbootstrap.com. If we jump to that page and scroll down, we can see many of the icon options available. The last option available for your links is the ARIA label, which allows you to specify an accessible label for the navigation item. I couldn't find very much information about this label, so I won't be discussing it in more detail. The last element that you can specify for your about template is partial page content. This is going to be text on your page that doesn't have the same formatting as the rest of the template. To add partial page content to your page, you want to specify the ID option under the about section of your YAML header. For that ID option, you're going to indicate the keyword that you want to use to start the partial page content. So if you specify the keyword id-name to include the desired partial page content on your website, 
you're going to place it between colon, 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 and then in the curly braces here, hashtag ID dash name. That's going to start the partial page content. And then to close the partial page content, you're going to finish it by having a new line and writing colon, colon, colon. You may recall that the default starter Quarto website automatically adds an about page for your website. Personally, I don't use the about template on that page. In fact, I delete that page and make the default landing or home page of my website the page that I use the about template on because I want something that's really visually pleasing when the website visitor first enters my website. Obviously, that choice is up to you, but that's just my preference and recommendation. To continue the example below, you're actually going to need three files and add them to your project directory. You can manually download these files from my GitHub webpage, or if you've downloaded the HTML file associated with this video, you can actually click on these links right here and download the files. Once you download the three files to your computer, you want to take them and copy them to the project directory of your Quarto website. My project is in the demo site folder, so that's where I'll be copying my files. To use an about template, you have to change the YAML header of the file for the page you're trying to update. We're going to update index.qmd, which is the main page of our website. So we're going to replace the YAML header of index.qmd with code that will use the Hoya template, use a round image, mypick.ping, as well as adding the title JT Smith on the page. And here is the specific code that we're going to add to the YAML header of our page. You may recall that the dash 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 indicates the beginning and end of your YAML header. The title row is going to add the title JT Smith on the page. The image row is going to add the image mypick.ping, while the about row is the critical row and indicates that we want to use an about template. Specifically, we want to use the Hoya template. We specify the image dash shape option to be round, which means that the image is going to look round when we display it. And we also specify the image width to be 15 EM. We now copy this code. Then we hop over to our studio and paste the code into our index.qmd file and hit the render button. We now have a very different landing page for our website. We can see the rounded image picture shown here, as well as the title name JT Smith. This is already starting to look like a professional website. Now let's talk about how to add links to our about template. To do this, we're going to add a links section to the YAML header of our file. We're going to add clickable links for an email address, a GitHub page, a YouTube page, and a file, as well as icons for each link. So here's the code that we're going to add to our YAML header. So we see the links option here. The text options are going to indicate the text shown with each link. So this is going to show the text email in this specific link. The icon option is going to indicate the bootstrap icon we want to use for that particular link. This particular link is going to show an envelope, which is commonly associated with email addresses. And the href option is going to be used to indicate the link in question. For this one, I want to link to an email address. And so to do that, I actually have to add mail to colon before the email address I want to indicate. You can see I've used a junk email here so that we're not spamming somebody. But if you were simply adding a link to a website, you can simply write the link of the website in href. In the last link here, I want to link to a file, in which case I would simply put the file name in the href option of that particular link. Let's copy and paste this text into our demo site and render our updated website. I copy the text, and now I'll paste it in the YAML header, and then click the render button. Hopping over to our updated website, we now see links down at the bottom of the site, which is really cool. If I hover over the email link, I see that it wants to send an email. If I hover over the GitHub link, we can see that it wants to go to a GitHub page, which if I right click and open this, will do exactly that. We also have links to a YouTube page as well as a file here. And we have cool little icons showing up next to our links. Let's finish this off by adding some partial page content. To add partial page content to an about template, 
we have to indicate an ID in the YAML header of the page, as well as adding the partial page content below the YAML header. We start by adding an ID name in the YAML header of our demo site. Jumping over to our studio and the index.qmd file that we've been editing, I add the ID row and I use the identifier PPC for partial page content to indicate the name I want to use when I start and end my partial page content. Here is the partial page content that I want to add to my site. You can see I discuss how much I love dogs. This code right here is going to link to an image dogs.png with the caption, my dogs are awesome. And because I like dogs, I think you should hire me. And we use that colon, colon, colon notation to indicate the beginning of the partial page content, colon, colon, colon to end the partial page content. And notice that in these curly braces here, when I use the identifier for my partial page content, I have to preface it with a hashtag. Let's copy and paste this into our demo site and look at the rendered page. I've copied that previous text and now I'm going to paste it below the end of the YAML header. And now I'll click the render button. We now see that on our newly rendered website that we have some additional text. We have the new graphic about our dogs. We have the caption, my dogs are awesome and, why, and, that, and the fact that you should hire me. If we change the template type that we're using, we'll actually see the content shift quite a bit. So let's do that real quick. Let's change this to a trestles theme. Now I change the template option from Hoya to Trestles and hit the render button. We can see that our rendered website now looks extremely different, even though the content is overall the same. I do want to point out one issue with our website. If we right click on the resume link and try to open it, we get an error. The file is not found. In the next video, we'll talk about how to correct this problem. But in the meantime, we can celebrate the fact that we have used a Quarto About template to successfully create a clean, nice-looking professional website.